Your phone is killing your creativity, and it all has to do with the sense stimulation, and the role that doom scrolling plays in how we're stimulating our senses, and how that drains our energy to create, and here's how I believe it works. Doom scrolling plays a trick on our minds and our bodies through the way it interacts with our senses. And for artists, our senses are everything. If you're creative, you know what it's like to be in a creative slump, a phase where you're no longer excited or inspired to work on your projects. The fun has been lost. They can last for a couple days or weeks or even months on end. And there's always a reason for why these phases happen when they do, and I've noticed that my phone plays a big part in it. When I scroll on my phone for hours, I don't get energy from that. I lose my energy. I don't feel excited or motivated to work on my film or write my script or work on my song because those things come from my energy to create. And when I'm doom scrolling, the overstimulation is playing this trick on my body. It's like a magic spell. It creates this illusion that I'm going out into the world and doing all these things. One second you're on an island, the next second you're surrounded by dogs, then you're at a concert, then you're next to shack, and then you're in a forest. The mind can't tell the difference between sight and reality. That's why we physically jolt during jump scares and horror movies. And when we scroll, we're convinced in our bodies that we're doing all of the touch and the seeing and the hearing and the feeling and even the smell and the tasting that we have to do for the day. And in reality, we've been on our bed for three, four, five, six hours. I think the reason this overstimulation affects our creativity is that our creativity flows from our natural energy to create. When we are exposed to the visual and auditory stimulation of our phones, our mind registers that we're done for the day. We have no reason or energy to create more. With all of those videos that we watched, we've already seen it all. And I find so much value in the superconscious of inspiration, experiencing something grand and spectacular and being inspired to create something just like that. But I feel that the rapid and convenient access to all of these stimulated images from doom scrolling is something disingenuous when you're indulged in it. We can exhaust our capabilities to experience the awe in experience. When your mind has all these things to scroll to, there's only so much energy and focus one individual thing can get. So I think that simplicity reigns king in this situation. Easing off the overstimulation is key. And I feel that in order to get your creative energy back from doom scrolling, you have to return to your senses. Engage in healthy stimulation. Remind your body of what it's like to physically stimulate your senses. Bring the power back to yourself and experience it firsthand, not through a screen. Returning to your senses can look like anything. What makes your heart sing? What makes your inner child come out and play? For me, being outside in nature is my safe haven. I can hear the wind and birds, and I can smell the greens and flowers, I can taste the fresh air, feel the sunlight, and I can see just about everything. Being outside with nature does the complete opposite of what my phone does to me. I ground myself in the essence of experience and the essence of stimulation. If you want to curate a steady and consistent flow of creative energy, I recommend that you implement one daily or weekly habit where you are intentionally engaging in your senses in a healthy way. Again, this can look like anything. Do you like to swim, cook, garden, draw, run, paint, take a walk, play a sport? Whatever you can think of, do it and trust your instinct. If there's an activity that comes to mind right away as you're watching me right now, then trust that. There's a reason why it's coming up and your body probably deeply needs to do it. I feel that our inner child is also our inner artist. So if we do things that make us feel like a kid, then we are curating our creativity. When's the last time you colored? Just a question, right? Think about that. I guarantee you that if you go to color right now, there's a good chance that your inner child's gonna come out and you're gonna feel something that you haven't felt in 10 years. Engaging with our senses creates a chain of energy that flows through us and from us. And this is the energy that creates more. Look at your creative energy as an effect of the things that you're doing and look at what role your phone, specifically doom scrolling, is playing in that. The last thing I wanna say is the phone is not evil. Technology is whatever we make of it. Social media obviously has its pros and cons, and I wouldn't be able to do the things that I'm doing now. I wouldn't be able to chase my dreams without the help of social media, connecting with other artists, documenting my journey, gaining knowledge. I do know that our bodies weren't meant to be on the phone all day. We're meant to seize the beauties and the creations of the world and want to create more. We are meant to experience, and for artists, we need to be able to work with our creative energy. So look at how doom scrolling is working with your sense stimulation and how that is affecting your creative energy, and move those relationships back into your favor. Thank you for watching. I want this video to be a conversation, so please comment your thoughts and tell me if you resonate with this. And let me know if you want me to make a video that goes more into depth of returning to your senses, easing off the overstimulation, and implementing those healthy activities. Subscribe for more videos like these. Hope you have a blessed day. Take care.